Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for your kind attention. What I present to you this night is the result of a challenge from noted illusionist Monsieur Francois Pelletier. Without further ado, may I present to you an extraordinary achievement in mechanical engineering. The world's first and only mechanical chess master, the Turk! As you can see, the inner workings of this mechanical marvel leave no room for human tampering. The Turk is comprised entirely of pulleys, levers, cogs, and wheels. Its sole function is to play and win at the Game of Kings. Now, before we begin the exhibition of the Turk's talent, are there any questions? Ah, yes, Mr. Von Kempen Kenken. Von Kempelen. Indeed, yes, yes. You'll say that this Turk automaton is entirely self-motivated. That there is no human being pulling his strings, so to speak. That is correct. Well then, what is to keep this robotic abomination from coming to life and destroying each and every one of us? Cracking our skulls open and feasting upon our precious brain meats, which it no doubt uses to propel itself. I can assure you, Duke Bellingham, that the Turk does one thing and one thing only, and that is win at chess. I wonder if playing chess is all he's allowed to do. I say you're terrible. Being a machine, he'll never get tired, if you know what I mean. I think <laughs> I do. Sex. Yes, yes, I'm sure that's correct, Mr. Kripkin. But I have an innate mistrust of the Turkish people in general. I find them to be an inscrutable race. If I mistrust their human iterations, why should I trust this mechanical version? <sighs> With all due respect, I ask that you put your trust in me. Excellent. And what nationality are you? Duke, please, I have planned ahead in case of any scenario wherein the Turk may come under his own control. I will simply just have to utter the safe word, and the machine will shut down. Fear not. And what is this safe word? The safe word is unicorn. Or was it origami? <gasps> anyway, I can assure you that my creation is completely safe. <laughs> what the? Yeah, <laughs> And that is why science is a horrible profession. Yes, ma'am. And tomorrow you'll shovel twice as much coal, because school only leads to a bloody demise at the hands of robots. Yes, ma'am. Good night, my sweet love. <laughs> <laughs>